Hey guys, welcome back to Skyrim where I'm in uh, Bleak Fool's Barrows and I have two dead bodies to play with. <laughs> oh, no, no, got the wrong one. <laughs> let's pick her up. I said let's pick her up. There we go. Up, 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 up. Come on up. Oh, I've got a bare arm. That's not very good. Ah, head first up his ass. <laughs> 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 Alright, so hi guys, we're in uh, Bleak Fool's Barrows where we're. Oh, hello. I didn't see him when I came in. Uh, where we are looking for the Golden Dragon's Claw. We're looking for the Golden Dragon's Claw because Lucan, Lucian, Luke, Luke, uh, that girl's brother back at Riverwood um, has managed to steal it. Uh, well, he probably stout it, stole stout it. Yeah, stout. I've made a new, I've made a new word, people. Let's use stealth from now on. Uh, he probably stole it from these guys to begin with because she has no idea where it came from. And you know, brothers are always just dodgy things, aren't they? Um, oh, well, I know my brothers are dodgy, or at least all my brothers will say they have dodgy brother. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I was uh, complaining about the state of the the cobwebs here and uh, wondering how deep in this barrows is going to go and making horrible poppy noises in the microphone that I'm sure everyone's going to dislike. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to find down here, and so far it seems we're going to find tree roots, despite the fact that there are no trees on the outside to be growing in here. Um, what, what's up here? Is this just a dead end? The problem with these old ruins is there's lots of places where things have just fallen in. I mean, this this could have gone off to a treasure room. Perhaps this barrow was actually the barrow of a king, and over there was where all his uh, his worldly goods were stored. Uh, but now, because of the the, the cave in and the fact that this is not uh, Minecraft, I can't get to it, and I can't I can't I can't dig through. So I just have to carry on. Oh, I thought that was a pressure plate that I just walked onto there. So we're just gonna have to kind of carry on and hope. I hope that we find enough loot to make this worth my while. I mean, I know we're doing this to punish bad guys at the moment. Um, obviously, bad in the eyes of the law. Because um, the Imperials say thou shalt not steal off the person that just stole off you. Alright, so we've got some healing potions. A burial urn. It's always empty. Why are all these em burial urns empty? Maybe because... The bandits have been in here before, do you think? But then where would the bandits keep their stuff? I mean, I never find potions kept in awkward places on bandits. I don't know, maybe I do. Where do, where do you reckon I find all this stuff? Because we just got a list, right? But bandits are notorious for hiding things in places where, I don't know, say, prison guards wouldn't look. Uh, ooh. Let's shoot him. Shoot him with my bow. We've spotted him. Oh, that was rubbish. Let's go again. Sneak attack for double damage. Yeah. So he did double of Naffle. <laughs> Better than half of Naffle. Oh, they're hidden again. Oh, can I, can I do this, like, stealthy hit and run tactics? I shouldn't. I'm not a gorilla. Ah, uh, ah, uh -huh. get it? Not a gorilla. Did I kill him? Did, did I actually kill him? Looks like I did. Yeah, he's fallen over. Oh, hello. What's going on here? There's a lever. Search bandit outlaw. I, I, I presume that I'm going down that way. Okay, so. Oh, also, I've put a new mod on. Well, not a new mod, uh, a mod that was already there. That you so on Skyrim the arrow placements are a bit random, but now uh, the arrow placements on the bodies. But now, boom, where the arrow sticks is where it stays. There's a lot of red dots up some somewhere. Where are the red dots? What were they doing? All right. Anyway, I think we have a bit of a puzzle here, guys. Let's let's have a look around. Um, there's a lever there and a dead body. I should imagine that that's something to do with some traps or something. Uh, we got some dolphins on the wall and a snake. Uh, 
potion of healing, which uh, mysteriously isn't any longer on that, that shelf. I, I can't imagine where it's gone to. Uh, and then we have other things with symbols on it there. And Okay, and a snake in the middle. So that's snake, snake, dolphin. Or a whale? Is that a dolphin or a whale? Or a boomerang with a funny little thing on it. Hmm, who knows? Who knows? Oh look, there's the there's the poison dart shoots. Wow. It's almost as if someone thought about where things would be. Okay, so snake, I assume snake. Broken rock, moved thing. That makes sense, right? And uh, whale. So, eagle? No, that's not right. Snake. Snake. Snake, snake, and then whale. No, that's a snake. I want a whale. Whale. All right, awesome. And uh, pull this lever and run away. Don't want to die. I'm not dead. Yay. Okay, search the outlaw. Well, the gold and torch. That's about all I want off him, actually. <clears throat> right, so pushing on. There was a lot of dots out here, so... Ooh. But I don't see any uh, any bad guys at the moment. Take Thief. Hey, my pickpocket increase. Uh, minor healing. Nothing in the urn. No traps on the chest. Gold. Gold! That's a soul gem. And that's it. All right, so that was uh, quite a successful bit of lootings there. Um, I wonder if this ooh, creepy noises makes me scared. Yeah, that does. Did that open again? I've got a feeling I'm going to want my, my way out to be available to me. So as we're going into close quarters, I'm going to pull out my, my steel mace and go around the twist. Yeah. All right, ooh. Oh, we, we can fight. Oh, they're just three skeevers. How, how are they attacking upstairs like that? That is a hell of a jump they've got. Alright, oh, there's another one somewhere. Where is he? There. Oh. Come on. <laughs> See, now being a, 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 a member of the feline persuasion, I, I feel like skeevers are kind of my natural enemy. I mean, they're, they're more than a little bit rat-like. Let's, ah, let's get a good look. <laughs> Twing. <laughs> Throwing bodies around. Um, anyway, um, on with the raiding. Still looking for this golden claw, of course. At least we forget what we're doing, because, you know, raiding does end up being just like raiding. So there's a potion of weakness and a fireball scroll. Now, these scrolls never get used when I... Uh, when I generally play. So what I'm going to do is just line it up ready to go. There we go. So I can, you know, use the scrolls. Yeah, it's Harkneer. Yeah, it's a shame you're not given that, that option. I, I'd like to, to lie. Put on a, a dodgy Norse accent. And be like, yards. It is me. I'm not <laughs> probably not being racially sensitive to that but there we go um, that is a lot of spider web I mean I don't know about you but I don't want to go through there oh I can't go through that okay that's that's fine you can burn it I don't want to burn it with this spell that's rubbish um, 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 okay let's have a quick look down here because I didn't look down here got some gold for my troubles Okay, let's bust out flames, and then we'll get the, the scroll back on afterwards. Oh, that does work. Awesome. That was, ju that was just a gut instinct, guys. You know, I was like, mm, how do you deal with cobwebs? Well, you burn them, right? Yeah. Turns out I was right. Okay, let's get that scroll back out, even though I'm sure it only does the same thing. Uh, 50 points and a 50... Oh, you know what? I might save that for when there's more people. <laughs> Hmm. Thoughts and thing. Oh, wait. Frostbite? Uh, it's very big. 
Oh wow, well, it... oh, well this is a bit easier. So I just kind of bait it over uh, and then fight it from the door. Ah, I got stuck. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, no. I was going to say, with a bit of tactics, this is actually turning out to be quite quite a simple fight. But um, no, uh, I've been stamina drained and I've got no magics left. So let's take care of both those things by doing this. Uh, a paralysis poison. Let's, let's hit him with that. And now hopefully we can just batter it for a bit. Um, though he does appear to not be taking... Oh, wow! Um, more more potions. Wow, that was uh, three quarters of my life gone there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Insects. <laughs> Pure kind. Alright, anyway. So... So he's a wounded frostbite spider. That, despite being wounded, he's the largest one I've seen so far. Can we pick him up? Oh, will you shut up? Where are you? You over there. Shush. Oh, look, will you shut up and let me raid this place first, please? There are orders to which things must be done. And just because you're, like, caught screaming out in the... In fact, have you not seen those, like, first responder videos? The one that's making the most noise is the one who needs the least help. We'll, do, uh, we'll talk to you about stuff in a sec. I want to raid out for egg sacs. I saw the egg sac thing here. There we go. These spider eggs, they must be useful. Desiccated core. I've ah, got a lockpick. Awesome. What's down there? Can we go down there? Get me out of here. Shush. Just, have, I'm just uh, checking the area out. You, know, you never know what you find. Oh, look, there's a loose web sack. You know what, I'm just going to go like shove this in his face. Be like, hey, oh, oh. Alright, maybe the web's in the way. Yeah, there we go. Right, um, should we talk to him then? See what he's got to say. You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Why? <laughs> Where is the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Tell me. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. The, the hand over the claw. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. I don't trust you. Um. I, I don't trust you at all. It's coming loose. I can feel it. <laughs> it's coming. Am I going to have to kill you? You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Really? Really? Never should have come here. Really? Am I actually just going to have to beat him to death? That's a shame. Well, let's read his journal. That's about it, right? We ran through a load of stuff here. Before we read the journal, let's, uh, well, like, take the common soul gem. Hmm. Blood channels for a sacrifice, do you think? Look at this. It's all a bit weird, isn't it? And then it runs off towards a drain. I I do believe sacrificial offerings were done at this place. That's uh pretty creepy. Um I I ooh. Pretty creepy. Embalming tools, yeah, look, ooh. Maybe maybe, maybe not sacrifices, but it's pretty gruesome whatever happened here. Are Nords known for their mummifications? Uh, I, I've got to say, I don't know much about the Nord burial process. Um, perhaps when we get out of here, we can go find a centre of learning. Uh, perhaps it's White Run everyone's going on about. And question them. But before that, we just picked up a book. Where is it? The journal. My fingers are trembling. The golden, golden, golden claw is finally in my hands. And with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool, Lucan Valerus, had no idea that his favourite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Fool's Barrows. <gasps> My god, there's a hidden meaning to it? Who'd have thought? Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says that there is a test the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. 
When you have the golden claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. It's got quote marks around it, so it must be important. Can I look at my hands? Can I put my weapons away? Um, anyway, uh, oh, I just dropped that on the floor. We'll need that. Take it. Take it. Uh, uh, so let's, let's... There's my hand. No. No. Um, maybe take my gloves off. Maybe take my gloves off. Uh, braces, there we go. No, I, I, no, I still can't see my hand. Uh, let's, um, mm, mm, mm. let's put them back on first. Anything else better? No. And my weapon is ideal. Ah, so we'll make that a favourite now, as it's better than better than the other axe uh, longbow that I had. We'll take those away. Uh, I need to go improve my hunting bow when we get back to town. Um, all right, what, what else we got? Uh, where is where is where where is this thing? Golden claw. Hello. Gold, golden claw, you say? Palm of your hand. Can we scroll in on it? Wow, um, uh, uh, there. Bear, butterfly, owl. Dragonfly? Bear, dragonfly. I'm sure that'll become apparent. Um, 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 yeah, I'm sure its meaning will, will become crystal clear. Uh, maybe it's uh, uh, another. Hello. Whatever. Oh, wait, something seemly. Uh. Oh no, we got undead. Um, is he taunting me? Oh, <laughs> just a quick exchange of blows there. I do more damage than him as a, as a percentage of overall life, so I think... I'm, oh, God, there's two. So we just lunge in and out in a, in a cat-like manner. Oh, ow. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them. Why are there so many? Uh, bone meal, of course. <coughs> uh, gold and a sword. The sword's not worth a lot, so I'm not going to take it. Oh, wow, what's he wielding? Ow! Ooh, ow! Oh, I can't take too many of them. I'm just going to have to dodge out of the way. Oh, I need some stamina potions. Stamina potions would definitely come in handy. Uh, maybe we'll just uh, hide here. Is he? Is he still seeing me? Uh, hunting bow. There we go. Like he's just hiding there, right? Ha! <laughs> in your face. <laughs> right. Um, aside from the, the droopy penis face over here, what's going on? Uh, we can search this blogger. That sounds scary. What was that? What was that? And the other thing is, I don't know, um, obviously, where I've uh, put this, this Sounds of Skyrim mod on. I'm not sure what is uh, internal sound and what's coming from outside. Uh, it may have been a slight oversight on putting the mod on. Wow, that doesn't at all look scary. Can I, can I hurt myself on it? No, I can't. It's only when it swings closed. I kind of want to set it off to see what it does. Ha! How's that? That's good. Alright, awesome. Um, <laughs> is there a way of disarming tripwire uh, pressure plates? No, it doesn't appear to be. Oh, oh, oh. Who's detected me? What? Alright, well, I spotted him, but who knows? Oh, wow. So, I went absolutely ham on him, and nothing happened. So, I'm going to have to... I just, oh, magic! <laughs> my, uh, my ploy to lure him to the trap obviously worked. That, that's a good one, right? Oh, wow. Well. We've been down here a long time now, guys, and I have no idea how much time is left, uh, how much further is left on this uh, map. And there's also a lot like that. Yeah, look, 
my sneak skills are poor. Oh no, there's two of them. And I haven't healed. Let's do that. Oh, hello. <laughs> what a fortuitous time to pause it. Right. That, that, and that. Oh, and they resist. <laughs> not the time to level up guys it's not the time uh, should we run back to the the trap and try and get them on it again ah. silly kajet that wouldn't work a second time would it <laughs> oh that was amazing all right we might try that again oh, this is a bit of a uh, a camp pose he's got on the go there hi um okay Still leaving most. Oh! Oh wow! Does catching arrows with my shield not count? I, I really thought that would. Maybe that. In fact, thinking about it, I do believe I've seen a perk. On ow! 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 Did you see that? What? What is going on? How am I walking around? <laughs> Oh, skin, mate. You're right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Let's try and get this done before my blade... My blade? My brain bleeds to death. Um, oh. This looks pleasant to go. Ah. Sweet. Uh, pull the chain. And hold it there. Right. Um... There appears to be a lot more left of this dungeon, guys, and this has been a good 20 minutes of adventure. So what I'm going to do is hide up here and pretend to be one of the Dwerger. And thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you guys next time where we're going to finish this and kill more skeletons and stuff. Um, I was kind of hoping for more bandits, but yeah, stuff. Bye! <laughs>